So today we're going to take a look at two different true wireless earbuds. One is a real popular one on Amazon, the Tozo T10 IPX8 waterproof earbuds. And we're going to do a direct comparison against the Mixter T1 true wireless sports earbuds. And I'll leave a link in the description below with current pricing and more information. So first let's take a look at the Tozo and you can get these in black or white for currently $49.99 on Amazon. Now these have Bluetooth 5.0 and these also work with a wireless charging pad that you can buy separately. Since these are IPX8 waterproof, they can go into water up to one meters deep for 30 minutes, which protect against sweating when you're working out or in the rain or even washing the earbuds and base and you can actually submerge the base with the earbuds, but yeah, I'm not gonna test that. Over three and a half hours playtime from a single charge, and you get an extra nine hours by using the charging case. So let's go ahead and open them up and see what we've got. So it looks like you can get a free one year extended warranty if you activate within 14 days, a quick start guide, and of course a user manual. A few different sizes of ear tips, a really short micro USB charging cable. It looks like a lanyard or a strap for your charging case. So the charging case itself is 600 milliamp hours, while each earbud is 55 milliamp hours. So this charging case is actually a pretty good size. It's kind of on the large side. You can see they do have a flap here on the back for the charging port. And you have a little hook there on the side for your strap or lanyard. And you can see right there, you've got four LED lights to show you the charging progress of the earbuds. Okay, so in person, these earbuds look really nice. They have sort of a soft TPU material on the underside. And then you can see there's an R and L on the top, so it's easy to tell which is right and left. And you've got your microphone and LED indicator light. Then underneath, you've just got the Tozo logo and your charging contacts. And then of course, the multi-function button, which you can use to receive a phone call, hang up, double click to redial the last number, click to play and pause. And if you long press for two seconds, you can reject a phone call. So controls for these are pretty typical of most wireless earbuds. You've got the one multi-function button where you press and hold for three seconds to power off or when off, you can press and hold the earbud button for five seconds to power on. So you can see with three lights lit up, it's almost charged up. Okay, so I see the left one, but I don't see the right one. Let's go ahead and pair it. And there's the right earbud. Okay, so that seemed pretty easy to connect. Okay, so that seemed pretty easy to connect to my phone, but now I'd like to see how easy they connect right back to my phone when you bring them out of the case. Okay, so there it goes. And it blasts my eardrum. Love when these do that. Okay, so for some reason when I took these out of the case, the left one connected, but not the right one without powering on. So let's try this one more time. So for whatever reason, the left one connects really good, but not the right one. Okay, so it looks like when you take these out of the case, you wanna make sure you power up the right one and it connects automatically to the left one. And then when you add it to your phone, make sure you connect the right one first and then you shouldn't have any issues. Okay, so now let's take a look at the Mixter True Wireless Sports Earbuds. And these are currently $29.99 on Amazon. And these are also Bluetooth 5.0. And the charging case is also 600 milliamp hours which will give you in total up to 20 hours of use using the charging case. So let's go ahead and open them up and see what we've got. So this one also comes with a short micro USB charging cable, two different additional sizes of ear tips, 
and of course the user manual. And this charging case is pretty similar to something like the Soundpeats that I've used. It's a little bit smaller than the Tozo. On the back is the micro USB charging port. And then next to that is the charging indicator light. And again, the charging case is 600 milliamp hours. So pretty typical little charging case, which looks pretty good in person. And the battery for each earbud is 50 milliamp hours. And you've got a little round multi-purpose button, which works pretty similar to the Tozo T10. So you get your LED indicator light next to the power button and a lot of other earbuds out there where you can answer a call, reject a call, power on and off, or call switching. You can also play and pause, go to the next track on the right earbud, or go to the previous track, hitting the power button twice on the left earbud. And if you press and hold for two seconds, you can activate the voice assistant. And you can see there is a microphone there on the side. And of course, the charging contacts on the bottom. So let's go ahead and see how hard it is to connect a Bluetooth. Okay, so I only see Mixer T1, so I'm not sure if, let me make sure both are powered on. Okay, so it doesn't actually use a voice to say powering on or powering off. It's just using beeps. So that's sort of hard to tell which it's doing. All right, so I just want to test these and see how easy it is to reconnect. Because I know with the Tozo earbuds, it seemed like they were a little finicky to get connected. Okay, so yeah, these actually connect right away. You don't have to power them on. They just power on and connect automatically to my phone. So that's definitely a good sign. Now, one other test I like to do is I like to test to see if I can listen to just one earbud. I noticed the Tozo let me connect one earbud, but then it keeps beeping for a little bit like it's trying to connect to the other earbud. I mean, it goes away eventually. I just wish it wouldn't keep beeping. Okay, so it didn't power on automatically. Let's see if it'll connect. All right, so it doesn't want to connect with just one earbud. Let me see what it does with the left one. Okay, so the left one pairs automatically. It powers up, connects to my phone, no issues. The right earbud, I'm not sure what's up with that. So after testing these two earbuds this week, I have to say that both actually sound pretty good. You can't really go wrong with either one, but there's a couple things I'll point out that may persuade you towards one or the other. One bad thing about the Mixter is that I had a problem connecting just the right earbud by itself. I'm not sure if there's a trick to this, but I wasn't able to use it that way during my testing. With the Tozo, I did not have that problem. Now, when it comes to which sounds better, I think both have pretty good bass, but I prefer the Tozo overall sound since it has better highs and you can hear more detail in music and games. And it's definitely the one you want if you listen to a lot of podcasts. Another thing that I like about the Tozo over the Mixter is something I didn't think would be a big deal. But when powering on and off, the Tozo uses a voice to say powering on or powering off. Mixter just uses beeps. So I have to keep looking at them just to make sure the lights turn off. The voice is just more convenient in my opinion. And you don't have to think about what the earbuds are doing. One thing I do like about the Mixter over the Tozo is the size seems a bit smaller and doesn't stick out from your ears as much. But if I had to choose between these two wireless earbuds, it would have to be the Tozo T10 wireless earbuds. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishby Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.